Hello. Are we live? Should be now. There we go. Couple of people here. Usually it takes a few minutes for people to actually show up, so I don't usually hit the go live button until a couple minutes have actually passed from when I hit that tweet. Want people to be able to show up after all. So we're going to do some Hearthstone today because the expansion came out, I believe, April Fool's Day. Maybe the day before. I'm not entirely sure. Either way. Um, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't actually even loaded Hearthstone aside from a... Uh, rev, Rev... Oh, well. Fuck it. People will come in and correct me on it. Was it April 2nd? Alright. Well, either way, I didn't stream it, so... We'll see what those new cards look like. I haven't actually seen any of them. I think I saw some leaks really early on. But, um, I don't think any of them were actually, um, official, so... Let's bring this up. There we go. If you are subscribed, I will play anyone. I do want to beat this uh, little thing here first. I was indeed playing on the Vine Sauce Ruster server earlier. Hey, Hoots! Yeah, it's been a while, man. All right. Welcome to Black Rock Mountain, my home. Are you next, Travis? I will fry you, dragon. Is that the same voice actor for Nor next, Travis? Oh, please. You know what? You should make a visit to the Molten Core. I think Radmoros has overstayed his welcome. <laughs> Be my guest in sight. I'm wondering how this is going to work. I don't know a whole lot about uh, WoW or the dungeons, but I know these are all based after different dungeons. So I saved up some gold so that way we could do this. How much is the full adventure for Blackrock? 24 bucks? Nah. We're gonna keep playing free to play because that's how I roll. Cheap as hell. Take my money. I still need to beat the last of Nax Ramus. So, first guy, who is it? Because I don't know a damn thing about this. Some dwarf dude? The dark iron dwarves are enslaved by Ragnaros. Fight through them to reach the Fire Lord. Let's see. Before you can crush Ragnaros, you need to defeat these unruly dwarves. Pile on. Put a minion for each, from each deck onto the battlefield. Okay. Um... So I'd imagine it doesn't get the uh, ability. I imagine he's going to be running that every single round. So I think we'll go with Evil's Rebirth. I feel like this is monetized well, but even so. I feel like this is my least... Uh, Oh yeah, legendary deck would be great for this. Make it really easy. I remember to turn that on today. So yeah, he's got the auto cast on. So. Your soul shall be mine. All right, let's get rid of that stuff. So this deck entirely focuses on getting. Uh, 
Malgantis out by using Void Color. Though this guy's gonna be just giving us stuff, so let's see what these things do. Everyone! Ha-ha! Looky now. We've got the fish. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's ugly. Right off the bat, he gets that. Okay. I don't think I have a way of dealing with that right now, so we're just gonna freeze him. And, uh... So, okay. If we get a Void Collar, then no harm done. Okay. And we'll kill him off next turn, either through Hellfire or just... He's just gonna have big old dudes, isn't he? It's gonna be a weird match, isn't it? I almost don't want to use Sense Demons because I'd rather he just send them to me. Um, throwing out Malgantis would be a bad choice. Unless if this actually hits. Okay. So that didn't go the way I wanted it to. I'd rather have him attack into it. And if he decides not to, then we'll just take 14 damage directly to the face. I don't think that's the right play, but... Alright. What is this? Whenever a minion survives damage, summon another grim patron. Okay, well, at least we got the Shadow Flame. I feel like that's the right choice right now. Clear the board, get Malgantis out. We've got an 8-8 out. I think we've got this. That's pretty straightforward. That's pretty easy. Unless if he gets something with Taunt. And then we get <laughs> Ragnaros. That feels a little bit messed up. Um, I think I can kill him this turn, right? Just attack into him? That was easy. I just got the right cards, I think. I didn't even need him. That was, uh, that was really easy. Like, in comparison to the last one, I had so much trouble with the last one. The Dark Iron Arena. This should be a good test of your abilities, Mortal. Very unlucky AI there. So what is this? Uh, summon a 1-1 spectator with taunt. Ooh, okay. As you descend through the mountain, you find yourself trapped in a Dark Iron Arena. All right, um... Hmm... This is just a Mech Warper deck, so it's kind of scummy. Um... I feel like it's worth just doing Evil's Rebirth again. Um... Though Mad Bomber would probably be a better choice because of all the random damage we're getting out. It was a bad choice on the last one just because of the, uh... The guy summoning in stuff for me, which means that he wouldn't have had the effects from being summoned. Which was nice for stuff like Succubus and all, but for... This, I don't think it's gonna work, so yeah. The Dark Iron Arena! Just the entire arena. I feel like this is the right deck for this. I feel like there could not be a better deck for this. Although, I have a feeling I'm gonna eat those words pretty soon. All right, so he's probably gonna be throwing out one ones every single turn forever. Ladies and gentlemen, have we got a show for you Ragnaros is in every single one of my decks because he's good. Legends of Azeroth versus a single adventurer. Is this just a Legends deck? It's just a Legends deck, isn't it? What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> Alright, well, he only has a 50% chance. We could double backstab, but... I think I'll wait. Story time with the cuddliest Pandaren, Lord 
This is just a Legends deck, isn't it? How weird. Alright. Um, well, he's not giving me any way of doing damage to my Armani. Um... He's going to get really annoying really fast, isn't he? Because he's just going to have legends. And if he can't, then he's just going to throw out jeering crowd. I probably should have taken out the other guy first, but whatever. Let's go and get him buffed. And take out Nat Pagel, just so that way he doesn't have a chance to actually build up any steam. And we can, um, we can take out Lorewalker Cho next time. I don't imagine he probably has any spells, does he? Alright. I say let's just attack through. Let's attack that so that way we don't have to worry about using knives or any of these abilities. Uh, we don't really, really bad. We don't really want to use Matter Bomber right now, just because that's not going to give us any value whatsoever. We're more likely to hurt ourselves than him. Oh God! All right, let's backstab him, then go Matter Bomber, and there's a chance we can kill him off. Actually. Do I attack through first, or do we wait? We really don't want to play him right now, do we? We just want to do this. God, this is annoying. This is going to be really annoying. Who needs eyeballs when you've got twin war glaives? Certainly not Illidan Stormrage! It is just a Legends deck, isn't it? Um... God, I'm trying... Okay, hold on. I've got Assassinate, but what has he got? Let's see, he's got... He's probably got Ragnaros. I'm bored and there are no good streams going on. Well, at least there's this stream. Um, let's throw out Matter Bomber. There's a chance that we'll actually kill him. Okay. I mean, that works. I would have liked one of those to hit my Berserker, but... Um, Alright then. Drink with me, friend. We'll just do that. And then backstab it. I think that'll be good. Alright. I guess let's do that. That was not the best play, but I think that's the best way of dealing it. Why doesn't Ratter Bomber do- Oh, shit. Aside from its entrance ability, it's just a 7-7, which is not that bad. Alright, so if we play Ragnaros right now, there's a chance that it'll miss and hit him, and then we lose- We don't lose Ragnaros, actually. Let's just do that. That should work out fine. <sighs> Alright. It's getting hot in the arena. Please welcome oh, God. Baron Gadon. All other characters, so he gets to trade two for one. Why would you do that? <sighs> Alright, um, Acolyte of Pain, Matter Bomber, I think. Draw some cards up, get something good going. Okay, that hurt a lot more than it needed to. But at least we got full value out of the Acolyte. Without, without, without a Rad Bomber, we're not doing well here. Okay, good. But isn't Baron Geddon just going to destroy all that? Oh, shit. 
Um. Ha. Huh. All right, hold on. I feel like attacking into him and then playing bombers is the best way to do this. Let's play the bigger one first. All right, come on, just hit everything. Damn. Value bomber, keeping his name. Yeah, Baron Value, seriously, killing his own stuff. What was that about? AI didn't really know what to do about that. Um, it doesn't seem like it'd be a good idea. It's never a good idea to rat bomber. Let's do it anyway. Fuck you. Hey, two for one. All right, uh, knife or... Let's use the dagger. Assuming he doesn't kill what's on my board right now. Oh, it's Death Ring. Sure then. I like how he just announced the thing that destroyed the world. Wow. Okay. Well. Go and assassinate that. And then, um, this guy. Into, uh, this guy. Oh, thank you, Sparty. Resub hype. Indeed. Our next challenger is hiding behind the controls of an old shredder. I love how that can possibly be like Deathwing or Lore Walker Cho. Um Have I always announced cards like that? No, he's just the announcer for the arena, so he's Literally just doing his job. <sighs> I was hoping I'd get another shiv or something. Alright, so we only gotta get one more hit off on him. How much does she cost too? That's fine. Just to be sure. Double shield him. I don't think that's your issue right now, dude. Without taunt, you're not gonna win. And I've got enough to get through the taunt he's got. Well, let's do this in style. We gotta throw Rad Bomber out. Rad Bomber's the only way to win this. Well, actually, just attacking him straight to his face would work as well, but... Alright, well, he helped. This feels a lot easier than the last one, but I remember the first part of uh, Next Ramus being pretty easy as well. Ooh. Wait a minute. Gang up. Choose a minion. Shuffle three copies of it into your deck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. What class is that? We're backing out for a second. Is that a rogue card? What is that? Oh shit, yeah, okay, so that's going in the Mad Bomber deck. <laughs> like, even. Like, that's not even a question. Alright, so what do we take out, then? Hearth pros are saying gang up is shit. I'm sorry, but you don't understand the synergy that I've got going on right now. If I use it, then I can get three copies of Rad Bomber. So even if I can't bounce him, we just get three more, which means that we have a total of two Mad Bombers plus two more Matter Bombers, so that's four, plus the bouncing ability of Shadow Step and the two Brewmasters, which means that I can play them a total of uh, four plus six more times, ten times, plus 
I can play any one of those guys three more times. So six more. So 16 times I get to play Mad Bomber. Plus Spanish. 17, 18. I'm sorry, no. There's too much synergy there. Brewmaster serves the same function, but, you know. That's why we need him in there as well. Shiv is kind of good for enraging stuff when stuff doesn't work out for us. Sun Fury Protector was looking like a good choice. So is Raging Worgen. I think we're going to take out Raging Worgen. I know he's a good card, but... Do I think I can get all of them? No. Well, it's not times three, it's times six in some cases. But a maximum of times 18 times. Well, no, because... Anyway. Yeah, that's, that, that's got to stay. Now we got to try it on whatever's next. I don't even really care if it doesn't Emperor make sense. Thorison summoned Ragnaros into this world. Please, destroy him. Oh my, what? Deal 30 damage. That doesn't seem balanced. Is that only, is that like, what? That oh my god. Versus Emperor Thorison. The Dark Iron Force will never fall. Um your back. So do I just lose? Uh, cannot use hero power, never attacks unless they have taunt. Oh, okay, so that's fine then. Alright, just don't kill her. Then we're fine. If we kill his wife, then he kills us instantaneously. He won't attack unless if it has... Okay, I think we're good. My mad bomber deck won't work here? I think it will. Wherever minion takes damage. Oh, this is looking like the exact wrong deck to play. Um. Who you want me <laughs> uh, Mad Bomber actually will probably enrage him. Draw two cards, gain four armor. Um. This is not going to be good, is it? <laughs> so we just kind of got to be careful with our mad bomber here. I don't think this is a great idea. Um, that's not how you should have done that, but whatever. Um, does someone want to give me backstory on this? Like, what's the deal with this guy? Like, is this why he summoned Ragnaros? Was because he got pissed off that his wife got killed? Because that's, um... That's interesting. I guess. As far as WoW lore goes. Okay. I mean, we're bleeding out, but we're not taking a whole lot of damage. I did that backwards. Oh, no. Okay, well, this is where things go to hell. Guess it's Rider Bomber time? Oh, God. No, oh, God. Oh, shit. Well then. Um, 
Good. Uh, Alright, then. Let's not do that deck. Let's... I mean, I did level, so that was, that was good. Is this a guy you can actually fight in, um... Is this a guy you can actually fight in, uh... Wow. Oh god, Ogre Brute's gonna be really bad. Oh, Hellfire! Oh my god, all of my board clearing will kill this thing. I, I have no interest in hurting your wife, but just... Oh god. Uh, this is gonna be the awkward one, isn't it? Um... I mean, if we can get Malgantis out, then we'll be fine. It's just acts Because if we use Malgantis, then... He's just gonna be an idiot, and just continuously bash his face into it. I think that's the plan right now. Get Malgantis and... God, why do you have to have that? I'm not trying to kidnap anyone's random wife. I don't want to do anything with his wife. I want to just leave her wife wherever he got her. Just don't know. Wait, what? Whenever this minion takes damage, deal two damage to the enemy hero. Uh... Oh, God. Okay, the current hope is that the axe hits the void collar, kills it, and then I get Malgantis. Ow. And that's game. Good. I think I can do this with this deck. I think it's my best bet, because right now my decks are like, you know, Rad Bomber, a uh, Death Rattle deck, a Magma Rager, can it be good? No. Uh, an Armor deck, a uh, Hunter deck, Matter Bomber, which is like Rad Bomber, except for the Mage version, Face Roll Mage 2. All my Face Roll characters are just... Uh, all of them are whatever ends up being the, the optimal strategy. I actually came up with Mech Warper before I ended up seeing it, so. And then we got this one, and this is just a deck that I'm trying to make something decent out of, and I couldn't. So I'll probably have to delete it. Let's try Evil's Rebirth again. I could easily do Mech Warper. I just feel guilty about it. That sounds good, Luncheon. No spoilers, though, because I'm, I'm I'm pretty damn excited about it. I'm gonna keep Molten Giant because he's doing damage pretty damn fast. I greet you. Shut your mouth. Leave my wife alone. You. <laughs> All right. Mora gets a three-one and get he starts with fifteen. Wow. Yeah. That'd be awful. Oh, especially with stuff like unstable ghouls all over the goddamn place. Um. Oh god, I can't play Sludge Belcher either.
I'm finding a lot of these cards I can't play. I can use Demon Fire on it next turn if I need to. I almost feel like buffing his person over here, just that way I could... I don't get why you say that every single time he says something. Um, if we get low enough on health, we can throw out... I don't know why the Dark Iron Dwarf always buffs that after he attacks. It's really bizarre. I can't use demon fire on it. Um, they'll do six damage, seven damage next turn. They'll put me within range. My hand is oh, well. Good, good. Yeah, no. If I if I accidentally discard Malgantis, I don't think there's a way I can do this. God damn it. That was smart. <laughs> Gul'dan versus Emperor Tharisan. The Black Iron Force will never fall. Your soul shall be mine. That was just me being really stupid. That's a good starting hand. That's about as good as it gets. Starting with coin and hey, stuff like that is good. Yeah, when you see that he's got that hero ability, it instantly becomes like, oh, all right. That's where we're going with this, but it turns out, no, it's not where we're going with this. Oh God, I can't play a taunt either. Let's destroy that thing. Something that sends it Vanish would be really good. How much does she cost, too? Well, maybe not, because he might just do it anyway. Melgantis and Void Color. Good. We got plays. Alright, if we get Ragnaros out, then we can kill his wife and not have to worry about the ability. And I'm having a feeling, or I have a feeling that he'll just keep using the ability regardless. So he's kind of a combination warrior, warlock. I guess that makes sense. Um, let's see. Yeah, the little He-Man nod there is kind of odd. I, am I guess I shouldn't have done that, because now I might get, like, I don't know, another Void Collar or something. Mind if I roll need? Okay, he's just attacking through. Let's see what happens. Not Malgantis, that's going to be annoying. really don't want to have taunt right now. What's with this trumpet? Yeah, that was a bad play. Uh, we'll go ahead and play Floating Watcher now just to ensure that that's what that'll be. Um, it depends on how clever I want to be right now. I could be ultra clever and kill off Let's pretend like we're being clever here. Ready to flee. No, Moira. You 
Wait a minute, that doesn't kill us. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete idiot. For some reason, I thought that was going to kill the Voidwalker. I'm an idiot. Faceless the wife is a good idea. Uh, that was stupid. That was just incredibly stupid. Um, I forgot that she didn't have the damage. If that was on the legendary mode... Like I said, I want to pretend like I'm smart. I'm a little curious to see what happens when you silence her, but I don't think that'll work. I don't think I can armor through his ability with the specialist. The specialist is not that great. Alright, hey, nothing. Leave my wife alone. I don't know what happens if he silences his wife. I don't think it's a good idea. I think he'd still use his ability. I am Freezing her would be a good idea, but she only stays frozen for so long. Yeah, I kind of figured he would just kill. Is Flameheart an actual card you can get? I wonder what card you get for this. I mean, you guys don't, because you've played this already. Um, Alright, Void Caller it is. Ready to flee. Ready to flee, he says. Okay, um... I could... Okay, good. Um... I think we just go for that. I can't rad bomber this. I tried, and then I realized it was a horrible idea. Yeah, you can uh, you can rad bomber, end up uh, losing immediately on this. There's Valgansis, which comes after. All right then. Uh, so now we sludge belcher. And we just go for the face as quickly as we can, because if we can figure out a way around Melgantis, we're screwed. Magma Rager? Really, dude? You've got this thing going on and you're playing Magma Ragers? And then he played all his mana out, so he can't do the 30 damage spell, so... I think we're safe. I think we win. Yeah, we do. Okay. That's the way to do it. Just had to not screw up the Malgantis play. I did, like, three times. Well, twice, I think. That's not bad. Impressive adventurer. Uh, summon a random friendly minion that died this game. I guess that's a priest way of doing Rad Bomber. But no, it just summons him, so not really. Alright, so it's Ragnaros time. Oh no, Ragnaros is at the end of this. So this is Emperor Thursday. At the end of the turn, reduce the cost of cards in your hand by one. Is that a constant effect? All right, let's go and check out the uh, class challenges real quick. Special hunter card, okay. 
reduce the cost by one. Yes, it's permanent. Does it keep going down? So can I have Ragnaros turn like in my hand from the beginning of the game and eventually get him free? Versus the Grim Guzzler. <sighs> okay. What am I? So this is gonna be just a beast deck, isn't it? All right. If your hand is empty, then gain plus three plus three. And this guy summons random guys out of my deck, and since I don't know what they are. Everyone! Ha ha! Lucky now. This is gonna be interesting. We got Godzilla. This is an interesting deck. It looks like just standard Beast Hunter. Yeah, I guess if you haven't beaten someone within eight turns of turn five, you're pretty much already lost. That's interesting though. You could do some interesting stuff with that. I'm trying to figure out how you would work with it. All right. Um. Five five is not something I really want to deal with right now. I don't know if you can't beat someone by turn five, it's gonna be a long game. Summon four dwarves with taunt. If you're spectating me to get your little achievement, you're probably not gonna get it because I'm pretty bad at this game. All right, five damage and two damage to the minions next to it. We can't do it yet, but I guess let's play Core Rager, because why not? I have no other plays. Um, that works for me. Perfect! That's what I was hoping would happen. That's so weird. Yeah, mid-range and uh, control decks would work well with that. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm thinking explosive shot now. Trumpet time! Alright, good. Um I I can see the ways that he could be good, but I don't think he's I wonder if he's going to get much competitive play. I mean, I said that mech or uh warp gate wasn't going to be very good, but that's before I really understood it. And I have a feeling that that might happen here as well. Okay. Hopefully we get Oh, that's bullshit. What is this? Deal two damage to all undamaged enemy minions. Okay. I don't have enough mana. Let's go with Minixia. He's played to massive effect already? Alright. Grim Patron. Alright. And then what is this thing? Always wins brawls. What the fuck? Okay. That's... That's an interesting combo. That was just written into the card text. Though it heavily depends on you doing synergy there. I need to get some taunt going here soon. Uh, let's do this. Then this guy. Then this guy. Wait, that did nothing. 
God damn it. All right, everyone get in here. Um, all right. Oh, there goes Godzilla. That's, I think that's the only time I've ever actually played Godzilla. God, that's annoying. Oh God. I don't. All right, he's got seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I've got to kill it. Just go face. Do I have enough damage? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. God damn it! All right, well we're not going face this turn. Because I'm an idiot. I could have killed him. I need to check for lethal. I had damage. I had the damage to do it. And now I don't. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. We're going to start checking from now on because apparently I'm an idiot. I love how the guy stopped spectating as soon as he saw that shit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, nine damage. I forget that I'm playing Hunter that actually requires no skill. And you just go for the face always. Alright. Thanks. Wow, that's fucking great. Mistress Nagmara, I think our friend would like a drink. Does he have lethal on me? I think unless if I kill this, he does. I played that in the wrong order. Oh, I will live it down because people will forget when I do my next stupid play, whatever that happens to be. All right, seven damage. Deal three damage. If your hand is empty, you draw a card. Okay, if I play Mukla, he gets three banana, two bananas. They give him plus one, plus one. Um, wait. Almost lost there. Almost lost there. That would have been bad. I had lethal. I counted that time. Quick shot seems interesting. Three damage if your hand is empty, draw a card. Considering that most hunter decks are just dump your hand and win, that works pretty well for them. So that's gonna be annoying. Yeah, I was just fucking with you guys. I, I'm actually good. How'd my interviews at South by Southwest go? Um, most of them not good just because of the way South by was set up. They wouldn't let us get in the aisle with the camera, so I couldn't actually film all that well. Uh, it doesn't help that I'm six foot three and you asked for it. Okay, you're just being coy now. Is it... Hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, if I guess I know what my plays are going to be. Wow. Wow. Gadgeton, then unstoppable. This is... Oh, wow. Okay. Only unstable portal. 
Yeah, it's like when they did the web spinner thing. Alright. I mean, I really don't need to draw this many cards. <laughs> this is a challenge deck. You can't actually build this deck, but I think they're just... I think they might have realized this card is a little bit weird. Okay, good for you. Yeah, no, I'm gonna hold on to that. Put your hands together for the skeleton in a dress, blood mage. Skeleton in a dress? We hunger for vengeance. Okay. <laughs> I can take you. All right, time to uh, wild pyromancer, unstable portal. This synergy going on right now. Wipes his board. Um this one's mine. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this out. This guy will kill himself unless we stop him. So we're gonna transform him into a bear, alright. And then we get Okay. I was not prepared for this, you are correct. Sea Giant. Um, I could have just fireballed him, I suppose. Um, if I do this, I can still play another card. Oh god. Oh god. I could take it. Okay. Um I mean, it makes them one cheaper, but... Our next challenger is hiding behind the controls of an old shredder. Who could it be? I don't... I literally don't care. I win. I'm gonna... I mean, I don't need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. That's boring. <sighs> oh, that was good. Yeah, this is definitely going up on after hours. Deal four damage, cost one less for each minion that died this turn. Find out? I guess I could have. My mic is a tad too loud. Okay, I'll turn it down a bit. I feel like doing that again if you guys don't mind.
because that was that was hilarious. The card's all right. Um, I'm trying to think of how you do it. Jaina versus the Dark Iron. I don't Arena. need to fight this guy again, but oh my god. A new challenger. You asked for it. Isn't there a legend? Hold on. Actually, we're gonna. I think there's a way of doing this in legend mode, right? Heroic? You can do heroic challenges, right? No. Yeah, I didn't even bother with the heroics for next Ramus. Uh, Unstable Portal is RNG Jesus, but because of it making it cheaper, you're always getting good value. There's only a handful of cards that are actually bad. Um, I'm trying to think of which ones. Um, a new challenger. You asked for it. Maybe Magma Rager, but at least Magma Rager's free. That's the deal. Like <laughs> Millhouse, Unstable Wisp. There you go. Things that aren't good. I, I guess it is Unstable Wisp. It's pretty damn hard. Alright then. Let's go ahead and get this going. Destroy a Murloc gain plus two plus two. Interesting. Yeah, I guess Wisp is the only. Who let him into the arena? All right, what did we get? We got a Full Reaver, um, Nightblade, Metal Tooth Leaper, Prophet Villain. Um, I'm not playing the Fell Reaver. It's better than using the uh, ability because that only costs us two. I mean, I guess there is a combo with the max. I mean, you can't play too many cards because he just doesn't have the mana for it. Um. Thank you, Millhouse. You are a source of, source of endless enjoyment for us. Oh, we get our own legend. Let's go and take him out. I don't think he has any spells, does he? Alright, hopefully he doesn't get a 5-5. Five five. It's just a 1-1. One one. Good for you. All right, um, this is going to be pretty good. Free Leopard Gnomes is fun. It's a good way of taking out his little 1-1s. Although, having to wait for him to s announce every single one every single time is pretty good. Cool. Can I do that to all of them? Oh no, it's just certain ones. Uh, 
Um, helmet Nernesting way. Okay. I don't. Captain Greenskin. Stampeding Kodo. And. Almost lethal. He has to. He's only level 11? <laughs> Helmet! It, it's a cool idea, but it would never be good. Destroy a beast. It's like, uh, okay, Blizzard. They were talking about how they made certain cards in reference to how the meta was going before the last expansion. And they were talking about, oh, you know, Taunt's been really prevalent. So we're making it so that way you have a thing that destroys taunt. And there's been a thing about secrets being too widely used amongst hunters. So we made it so you can steal secrets with this card that no one plays. Um, the thing is that this was probably a reference to the number of hunter decks that were getting out of control. But... It's really not an issue? Actually, why did I even bother? Oh no, nothing can really top a mill house. That's an easy way of getting mage wins if I've ever seen one. Oh my god. All right, well. I mean, yeah, mid face and mid-range hunters are everywhere, but like, I don't know. Undertaker's got nerfed, so he's not as good anymore. I played, I've played since, um, yeah. Pretty much everywhere. From the start. Anyway, um... Do you guys, uh... Do, excuse me. Do any of the, uh, streamers or subscribers right now want to play a quick game? I need to, uh, test out Rad Bomber with the new card. Yeah, quick shot's gonna be a thing, isn't it? It's gonna be annoying. I almost feel like finishing Naxxramas as well. I know that's something I should have done a while ago, but just... Yeah? Alright. Go ahead and, uh... I guess I've gotta be out of this window, don't I? Resurrect. It's a cool idea, but it's just... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm glad they did an expansion because it was getting a bit dry again. They kind of keep it at that. Grim Patron. Um, let's see. I just had an idea, hold on. Okay. I quite a pain. Yeah, let's try that. All right, go ahead and throw me a challenge if you wanna. Katosh sends me a challenge.
the music is great for this game. I love it. The loading bar is shaving, and now we can go. Valera all right, let's see what you got, man. I will fight with honor. Watch your back. Yes. Oh, we'll keep that. Good. Didn't I take out Sun Fury? Yeah, if you haven't actually played this before, even with my really crappy decks, I'm probably going to win. Well met. Just because I have the cards to do so. I've got a couple legends in this deck. Coin, Rad Bomber, best play ever. Value, three damage, turn one, deal with it. I'd say it's not it's not a pay to win game, it's definitely pay to not grind though. Follow the rules. No. Fuck the rules. Rad bomber time to go! Al. On to him! Grinding is okay, because, I mean, basically, you're going to be playing the game a lot anyway. So, it's not like you aren't really ready for playing this game a lot. Please hit him with as many as possible. I should have specified. Lobe. Thank you. Alright, thank you. I have to play a little bit smarter because I'm actually facing a person rather than the bot. The bot is kind of dumb. I suppose that's the best way of going about it, isn't it? If he throws out a, uh, yeah, then we'll just fan it out. Unless we have a better option. Vanish, horrible idea. Good. Um. Grim Patron works really well in this deck. Justice. Oh yes. The combo is real, my friends. Let's do this! Yes! Oh shit, I still have to taunt somehow. Never mind, this isn't gonna work! Oh, that was good. I, I want to do that again. That was, um, that was good. Yeah, one more. That's fine. Um, <laughs> everyone get in here. I gotta, I gotta get that combo to actually work. Doing that with the uh, legend I just got would be pretty good. Valera versus Gul'dan. Go ahead and op ma. Uh, 
Konome. You don't have to mod if you don't want to. It just it's nice to have all the people that I trust to have that ability. And have you be able to actually see what's going on. It also makes it easier to see you in chat sometimes. Um, the little subscriber thing and the little moderator thing both make it easier. Um, Alright, come on, Rad Bomber. Nope. Alright. Bouncing Blade would be good. Whirlwind is good. Inner Rage, Cruel Taskmaster. I yeah, I mean, pretty much everything warrior based would be. It almost feels like a warrior card, to be honest. Um, the pleasure is mine. Oh, this is gonna suck. Just no. We're not doing that. Yeah, this deck is pretty much built for someone like the uh, Grim Patron. Shiv him. Throw bombs at him. All of it works well. Yeah, we won't attack, so that way we can stab it. Oh, it's a war or er, warlock mech deck. These are pretty rare, so it's kind of cool to see one. Kind of cool. I still hate mechs. I could have mad bombered there, but uh, smart decisions aren't on the plate today, so. I mean, I freaking. No. I feel like Warrior probably hasn't gotten enough love recently. Maybe that's why they're doing what they're doing. Axe Flinger is pretty good. Yeah. That's definitely what this deck is. All right. I don't have enough mana. What am I doing? Here we go. That was a mistake. For some reason, I thought Shiv only costed one, which would have been OP. That was stupid. Today's not a great day for me, apparently. How popular is Rad Bomber? I believe it's ranked 11 on the most popular deck, popular decks of all time. Usually the top 10 are for uh, whatever the dumb meta is now. Fan and Ives. That's all right. Job's done. More draw power is fine with me. I can fan of knives again next turn and just clear it. Oh, thank you, y'all. We tried watching JoJo. Um, first episode's a little bit just eh, but Something I don't know. We'll have to give it more of a shot, I guess. I'm gonna get unhosted for calling that. It's just kind of an eh thing. Considering how much Yol loves JoJo. Yeah, flavor of the meta. Alright, that was pretty good. Can we Mad Bomber and make this good? Not especially, no. Hopefully it doesn't hit our Matter Bomber. Fuck up. Fuck him up. Nope. Part one is not indicative of the whole series. We ended up finishing, um, yeah, coining now would have been nice. Um, but I can't, so that was good. <sighs> Space Dandy we watched the end of, and that's a show, man. That is a weird show. 
Oh, sorry. That was a mistake. That sucks. You can get anything decent out of that. You can get a, a guy that's only good because of his battle cry. So many options. Um, he's got eight damage on the board. If I... Fan of Knives might draw something decent. Gang up. Choose a minion. Get three copies of it. Space Dandy is just good. It's like um, Cowboy Bebop, Johnny Bravo plus Hooters. It's amazing. If any of those things excite you, you should you should watch it. It's incredibly stupid. But I really should say that anyone who gets to, uh, anyone who sub subs gets to, uh, beat my ass in this game, because there's no actual chance of me actually beating you most of the time, unless if you've just started playing. I am that good at this game. Um, I wonder. Oh. How about Vanish? And then Shiv. Hey y'all. Job's done. Hoping you didn't catch me saying what I was just saying. Yeah, Space Dandy's amazing. Skate Dandy. Magic detected. Oh god. Um Really? I mean, I really don't have another option, do I? We just gotta go for it. We just have to hope this works. Uh. Two less than five. We can do it. Got rid of the ton. I, I didn't talk shit about it. I just say I didn't much care for the first episode of JoJo. And then I said you're probably not going. You're probably gonna un like uh, unhost me now that I've said this. All right. Well, that went well. Um. All right. Well. That was that was good, GG man. Oop, GG. Oh, it's Udi time. Well, we gotta do this now. I think it was just the first episode. Maybe JoJo gets better from there. Konomi, if you're trying to get your free pack, you're not gonna get it from watching me watch Udi instead, man. <laughs> Watch your back. All right, we get Mad Bomber. There we go. That's a beautiful starting hand. Mad Bomber, Shadow Step, Youthful Brewmaster. Watch until shit hits the fan, at least. Okay. Yes! Yes! Value! Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Value! <laughs> Shit! WoW seems exactly like the opposite of a game that Yul would want to play. Like, of the games that Yul would play, I think WoW would probably be the last one that me or him would play. Why have you- why are you spectating me? <laughs> um... 
two for two trade. That's not bad. Nah, Hootie's just got a, uh... Hootie's just... I think it's a Murloc deck. Is this actually an anti-Rad Bomber deck? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Alright. It, it fucking is. It is entirely just a anti-rad bomber deck. <laughs> it's beautiful. Maybe I should just net deck? This is one of the best net decks. Why does that never work the way I want it to? Damn it! Ah. Uh. Another fucking rad bomber. Um. Here we go. You gotta post it, man. Such bullshit. <sighs> Here we go. Yeah, send me a link as well. They all, yeah, these are like the cards that you don't want to, uh, yes. Hmm. Vanish is amazing. God damn it. Let the pain speak to me. All right, Grim Patron, and then uh, Gang Up. Let's throw a Gang Up, just so I get to use this guy. Here we go. Vanish was an amazing choice. No! I will be your deck. <laughs> it's all cards that are bad. Oh wow, this is a good deck choice. It's all cards that are really, really rough against Rad Bomber. I can't believe you've done this. Um, that's six damage. If he manages to pull off an extra one damage, he wins. Alternatively, we Rad Bomber and clear his board. Ow. Okay. No. No. Okay. Um. One, two. Okay, six. Mm -hmm. Aha! Aha! This is like, Hootie has this. 
He totally has this, because he built a deck just to counter it. This is an amazing counter to Rad Bomber. It cuts out the synergy of Shadow Step. Are you... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he has lethal all the same. You ass. <laughs> Rudy just became a level 20 warlock. <laughs> That was funny. That was very funny. Alright. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. That was funny. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Give me uh, 90 seconds and a commercial to go pee. And I'll see you then. One sec. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, see you, y'all. Alright, so, that was fun. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, um, go offline for a half second, come back, and then, um, we'll, uh, come back with some more games. I think what I'm gonna do next is a little bit of that, uh, Desolate Hope game. That we found last time. It's a game by Scott Cahoon. I pronounce his name weird every single time because I don't know how it's actually pronounced. He's a Texan. That is a bizarre name. It's from the maker of Five Nights at Freddy's. We're going to switch over to that so that way um, I don't have to edit the VOD. And we can just have this Hearthstone. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> 